All right, today for this Bella Be Good um, episode, what we're gonna do, we want to, we need to release some pheasants. So we've been raising these chicks. Um, they're about five, a little over five weeks right now. We opened up that pen last week and released them. Uh, what was in there? There's probably 50 to 60 in here right now. We released about 50 to 60 last week, and they're all over. Like every time I walk over here, those ones come over here and they eat the spilled food and. They kind of live in this area. So we got chicks coming in another week and a half, but what we caught a couple out of this, out of this box, um, put them in a box. We're going to actually put them in by our, our pigeons. Um, but we are going to open for, for Bella. We're going to get a session out of this. So I've got Bella sitting remote there and we're going to release birds. So I'm going to, these guys are just going to get out. Um, we're going to let them fly out. And I'm gonna let her, st I'm gonna stay between her and there. Um, just to kind of settle in, I may even go get her. So a lot of times those birds just fly out on their own. But the reason we're doing this is just simply steadiness for Bella. I want her to see a lot of excitement. She's got an incredible drive for birds. Um, I've seen it now countless times where she's caught birds like you can tell she's really dialed in here um, she becomes very excited there's probably little chicks in these weeds right now um, that I don't even know are there but there's a ton of scent obviously I'm gonna bring her around here we're gonna try to get these birds out from the back and so she didn't even notice that one flew out so it's kind of interesting we'll let her kind of realize where these birds are So her tail, as all this flying starts happening, her tail really gets going. Sit, 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 sit. So she's watching somewhere getting out the back there. Several of them jumping out that back. See the intensity in her tail. Good, good, good. But no pressure on the lead. S sit, sit. So it's just kind of desensitizing her to the excitement level of, she's still excited, but she's 100% under control. Sit, sit, sit. And so sit all of a sudden, she doesn't even listen to it because man, there's birds right here. Good. She hears them chirping over here. A couple of them went behind us there. Sit. So now she's on her own. I'm, I've got her kind of on an island on her own. Ah, da, da, ah, 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 ah. Good, good. A little close for comfort there, but nice. Easy, easy, good. S sit, ah, 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 good. Sit. So this is similar to what we're gonna be doing with the pigeons in a pigeon harness. Just getting her close to birds. Easy, good, good. No way, I, there's no way we're doing this. Um, the last batch that we released five weeks ago, there's just no way I could have her resist that temptation. Sit, sit. You can see it ramp up, ramp up, ramp up to the point of almost boiling over. Good. Ah, 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 ah. 
good. They're not quite as cooperative to get out as I'd like to see them. Good test of of her ability to resist a lot of temptation. Good. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Heel. Heel. Right here. Right here. Sit. Sit. Good, here's one sitting right here in front of me on the tree. Good. 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 So she's handling it really well. I gotta believe these birds are kinda liking it too. Good. Good dog. Good girl, Bella. Good. That's good. I mean, that's a perfect, this, this is, so this session, uh, this episode of Bella Be Good, it's just an uh, example of something that we want to do with her, that we have a chance, to, we gotta let these birds go anyway. So we might as well let them go in a way that we're gonna gain something out of it from a training standpoint. So we've just, we've put her in a really intense space um, from a temptation standpoint. And I don't remember, we've only released one group of birds with her so far, right? And she did pretty well with it, but not, I don't think this well. Um, I don't think it was this tempting to her. Ah, ah, ah. And she's been a real, she's been a real, well, last year, we, did we didn't we release chicks last year? And she caught chicks, yeah. She caught chicks last year. So this is like her third batch probably of chicks being released. So last, last summer, we released birds and she was catching them. And that created a, a ton of fire in her belly for birds, um, more than she needed. Like, it, it wasn't like we built it up, it was already there. It just, we couldn't control it. And so as we've progressed here, now we're setting ourselves up to control it a little bit better. And then as she earns some freedom and trust, she gets to, uh, we, we put her out a little bit on an island, we trust her a little bit more, we allow her to, kind of do um, do some things that I don't think she could have done before. So here's this one now. This one's probably not gonna survive when he walks right up to you, but. Good. But that's just an easy way of utilizing something like releasing the birds, which we do three times a summer. We raise, well, this year we'll raise about, about 500 um, and release them. And so now we, we've done that, or we're, we've got one more batch to do, another couple hundred, but 
It's a lot of opportunities for her to see that, get that experience. So that's it. That's a simple lesson. Now today I'll make some. I'll probably make some retrieves with her. Um, we're past hold. We're getting past hold conditioning. We're gonna start getting into some other stuff. But this is a session in itself. And so I, a lot of questions about well, what do you do when you're not working with them in formal sessions? We're always working on something. And so this is something that we said, well, we've got a chance here for the dog to gain something from something that we're doing. Um, that's not necessarily formal training, but let's create something out of it positive. So that's what we did. So that's it for this little session. Good. Good girl. Okay, we're back with Bella, and um, I don't remember the last session we filmed. Now, we, we did one earlier today. We released a bunch of pheasants, um, and she just steadied up and watched these pheasant chicks fly off. Uh, but as far as like a training session, we must have done one end of last week. It's a Monday now, so um, I think what we we did last time was we, we talked about how we kind of concluded our hold conditioning series. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna accept anything less from her. In fact, it means I have to be real real steady with the idea of the delivery's gotta be good. I can't allow her to slip back to some of those lesser um, desirable deliveries that she had before we started hold. So today is a little warm, the sun is out, a little hot. Um, what I want to do, one of the things that now that we're past hold is I'm kind of going to start putting my list of things together of things that we need to work on with her. Um, handling is going to be one of them. So we're going to start working on some handling drills. This last weekend I had her up in the water and, and recognized she's not fantastic on the water. Um, she hasn't had a ton of water experience. So I, do, I guess it's not a ton of ton of surprise to me either but she has been so natural at a lot of things she's not the best on the water um, she's not the worst but we need to give her some more water experience heal so today so handling is one thing when we start talking about handling and I'm kind of bouncing all over with stuff but when we start talking about handling I I go back for a long time before I go right and left and we started going back with her couple months ago so the the groundwork is there and you'll see she doesn't she still kind of sticks a little bit um, and processes and thinks about it but when she goes she goes which is really nice uh, gets me excited for when she starts to go right and left I think she's gonna do really well there um, but we're gonna, so we're gonna work on, work on sending her back, 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 back for quite a while. Now, this is a very smooth session to start out with. We, I'm here, I am jabbering. I should focus, especially because this is relatively new stuff for her. So I should focus to get these, these setups a little smoother. This is something I would do a little bit further down the road where I build in some conversation in between and make her think and extend kind of the memory and see what kind of focus she has to get through this. But let's, let's start it out and try it here. And so watch her mouth, because as soon as I'm about to do something, she really closes her mouth and locks up and she knows it's coming. So that also tells me she's starting to get it. Go back, go back, go back. Good girl, good girl. Now I've got that dummy stood up on purpose and that saved me there. Cause she didn't run back with a lot of purpose. Easy. Good. Good girl. Just what we wanted with our delivery. Good girl. Very good. Did. You know, she stuck a little bit there. I had to send her back three times. Heel. Heel. Um, the one bad thing about this heat is it really cuts in on her focus. It's going to be a little bit quicker about this one. We're just reversing it. Go back, go back, go back. Good girl, good girl. So we're gonna get it to the point where we don't have to say it three times. She's just a little hesitant right now. Easy, easy, easy.
Good. Right here. Right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sit. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Dead. Good girl. Good. Heel. 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 Come on. She's become real flat lately too. Well, it's, it's because of this heat. It takes a lot out of her. She becomes a little slow. Just the mind isn't as sharp. Physically, she's not as sharp. I'm gonna call her to me this time. Come on, here, here. Good. Go back, go back. Good girl, good girl. Having that dummy stand up makes all the difference. So she sees it and just runs right to it. Doesn't have to think about it, doesn't have to hunt. Easy, 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 good. Good, very good. Did, good girl. Hold, good girl. Good girl. Did, good. Good, let her just kind of take a break here. Good, good. Yeah. That one was real nice, she came, came well, stopped to the whistle well. You can just see she's tired right now. That we gotta work on a little bit to crisp up. This time I'm gonna call her to me, stop her, pitch it over, and send her back. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, good. Because she was going so slow there, I wasn't gonna stop her. And she's just hot right now. Good, good. So instead of asking her to do it, I'm gonna simplify it. This is gonna be a really short session. It's 2 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now. It's about as hot as it's gonna to get today. Go back, go back. Go back, go back, good girl, good girl. Way too much thinking. Good, good, dead. Way too much thinking. Come on, you can just see there, that's enough for her. There's no reason for me to, I, although I'd love to continue to push because I'm going, man, we really, now we can do a lot of stuff. The conditions right now are telling us that's enough. Um, don't really have to, shouldn't go any further. It's gonna get, it's not gonna get any better. Um, she could use a drink probably. Come on, come here, come here. Sit. She can use sitting in the shade. Now, one of the things that I don't think is gonna be an issue, has not been an issue. She's been steadied up. Steady as a rock. So I have zero concerns with her steadiness. Um, we haven't done a ton of steadiness. Formally like this, um, what we did do is this last weekend, this past weekend, we made lots of retrieves on the water with tennis balls and she loves tennis balls. She, she enjoys the water. She's just not real good on it yet. But for every retrieve she made, she had to watch four or five because the other dog, we just took turns. So there's like zero concern with me break, with her breaking anymore. She's just steadied up really nicely. And for 15 months, 16 months, it's perfect. Timing is perfect. Um, I don't have any, I haven't put her, like today I had her on the lead. I haven't put her on a lead for a long time. The only reason I had her on the lead was because we were releasing those pheasants before. And I did put her on the lead just to, as a secondary um, 
kind of seat belt there for when we were releasing those birds. But I just, she's just steadying up really nice. She's really maturing. Um, she's really maturing in the last month or two. And she's becoming really easy to handle. Slow almost. A uh, little Taylor-like. My Taylor dog is, is slow a little bit and real easy to handle. She's um, someone we will give to somebody who don't, doesn't know what they're doing because she, she doesn't move so fast that you make that you can make a mistake as the handler as easily. So that's it. That's a real simple session. We're going to start getting back into it. Probably going to talk, talk, Ben and I will talk about it. Probably going to do some early morning stuff. Um, it just doesn't, I work the dogs almost every evening um, in one way or another, doing a lot of tennis rackets and tennis balls and marking with that. Um, but we've, we've, um, we're, in order for us to do what I want to do with her, I don't think we gained much this session. I don't think we lost anything, but I don't think we gained anything. And so now that we're back to getting into, let's make some progress over the next couple months leading into the fall. Um, we're through the hold conditioning. Now I need to get to the point where she's real sharp mentally. And she's going to have to be real full of energy, um, more energy than she has right now. And she's going to have to be sharper in her mind than she is right now. And that will all have to do with the time of the day and the, and the temperatures. Um, if it were a little bit cooler, it would be a much different story. But I don't know what it is. It's got to be, I would say it's in the, the mid-80s. It's got to be. So um, we have to, we just have to keep that in mind. Um, but that's it. That will be our session for, for today. And it's good enough. And I'm damned if you don't